Hey there, you're looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. Nat, seated on a stone bench amidst the flowering bushes, felt a sudden rush of anxiety. It wasn't just the crisp afternoon breeze that sent a shiver down their spine, but the realization of what they were wearing, or rather, whose wardrobe they were borrowing. This is crazy, Nat muttered to themselves, smoothing the skirts of the silk wedding gown they now wore. It had been a whirlwind of an afternoon. Encouraged by their older sister, Anna, Nat had indulged in a curious exploration of cross-dressing, starting with a simple blouse and skirt, and now, well, now they felt like a character in a fairy tale, the princess of their own secret garden. But with this fantasy came the fear of discovery. Relax, Nat, Anna's voice carried across the lawn where she had been tidying up some gardening tools. You look amazing, and mom and dad won't be back for hours. Enjoy it while you can. Nat's fingers worried the delicate fabric of the gown. I know, it's just, what if someone sees? As if in answer to Nat's question, the distant rumble of an approaching truck grew louder, and a moment later, a delivery van appeared at the end of the driveway. Nat's heart leapt into their throat as they realized the peril of their situation. Just stay put, Anna said, coming to stand in front of her sibling, shielding them from view. It's probably just a package drop-off. I'll sign for it, and they'll be on their way. Nat wanted to disappear. They hunched down on the bench, willing themselves to become one with the foliage. The van pulled up to the curb, and a burly man in a brown uniform hopped out, a package in hand. Sign here, please, he called out not noticing Nat at first as he approached Anna. Anna obliged, scrawling her name with a flourish. Thanks, she said, turning to go back inside. The delivery man, however, paused, his eyes narrowing as he finally spotted Nat, a vision in white amidst the greenery. Uh, is everything all right, ma'am? He asked, his brow creasing in confusion. Anna froze, her back to the man, and Nat held their breath, unsure what their sister would say. Of course, Anna replied smoothly, turning to face him. Why do you ask? The man gestured toward Nat, his confusion evident. Well, I guess I didn't realize you had company. Just seemed a bit unusual, that's all. Oh, this is Natasha, Anna said, the lie coming easily to her lips. She's a family friend. We're working on a photography project for my college course. It's an exploration of fashion and identity. Natasha is the perfect model, don't you think? She flashed a bright smile, her confidence unwavering. The delivery man, clearly embarrassed, scratched the back of his neck. Oh, uh, sure. Didn't realize... Sorry to disturb you then. Have a good one. He hurried back to his van, a faint blush coloring his cheeks. Nat let out a breath they didn't know they were holding, their heart hammering in their chest. That was close, they whispered. Anna came and sat beside them on the bench, her arms slipping comfortingly around their shoulders. Don't worry, little bird, I've got you. Besides, you look so stunning, anyone would be hard-pressed to forget the sight of you. Nat's anxiety began to melt away under Anna's supportive words. They straightened their posture, feeling a surge of pride. You really think so? Of course, Anna said, her gaze softening as she took in the scene before her. Nat, luminous in the golden hour light, surrounded by the lush blooms of the garden. Mom's wedding dress was made for you. It brings out a radiance that's always been there, hidden just beneath the surface. You really think so? Nat repeated, their voice catching slightly as they turned to face their sister. Anna reached out, gently brushing a stray lock of hair behind Nat's ear. Absolutely. And who knows, maybe this project will help you discover a new side of yourself. Nat considered this, their fingers lightly tracing the delicate lace of the gown's sleeve. Maybe, they whispered, their voice full of possibility. Just then, the sound of the front gate opening startled them, and they turned to see their elderly neighbor, Betty, approaching with her small dog, Fifi, straining at the leash. Betty, a retired teacher, always had a curious eye, and today was no exception. Well, 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 she said, 
her eyes widening at the unexpected sight before her. What a lovely surprise. Are we having a photo shoot, Anna dear? Anna stood, her easy confidence never faltering. Yes, actually, for my college course. Isn't it fun? Betty's eyes sparkled with delight as she took in the scene. Marvelous. And who do we have here? She peered at Nat, her sharp eyes taking in every detail. Anna gave Nat a subtle nudge. This is Natasha. She's a family friend and the perfect model, isn't she? Well, I must say, dear, you certainly know how to make an entrance. That dress is exquisite. Betty's approval was clear, and Fifi yapped in agreement, straining to get closer to Nat. Nat, feeling more relaxed now, stood and gave a small curtsy, their skirts swirling around them. Why, thank you, Mrs. Johnson. It's lovely to meet you and Fifi. Betty's eyes twinkled with amusement. Betty, please. And Fifi seems quite taken with you as well. She has excellent taste. Natasha, huh? Anna's voice interrupted their pleasantries, a hint of mischief laced with pride. Tell me, is that your name now, little bird? Nat's heart skipped a beat as they met their sister's gaze, feeling the weight of her words. I, I don't know, they replied, their voice soft and full of uncertainty. I guess I never really thought about it. At that moment, the front door flew open, and Kelly, Nat's girlfriend, bounded out, her face alight with excitement. Hey, babe, Anna told me all about your little experiment. I had to see it for myself. She took in the scene before her, Nat in the wedding gown, Anna standing protectively beside them, and Betty and Fifi looking on with curiosity, and her eyes widened in appreciation. Wow, she breathed. You look incredible. Nat felt a rush of warmth at Kelly's reaction, their anxiety dissolving under her supportive gaze. They had always known Kelly to be accepting, but seeing her enthusiasm for this new side of them filled Nat with a surge of confidence. You really think so? They asked, unable to keep the smile from their face. Kelly closed the distance between them, her eyes shining with admiration. Absolutely. I mean, look at you. You're glowing. This is definitely your style. Her eyes sparkled with a mixture of affection and mischief. Maybe it's time for more than just an experiment? Nat's heart began to pound as the implications of Kelly's words sank in. What do you mean? They asked their voice catching in their throat. Kelly took Nat's hands in theirs, her grip warm and reassuring. I mean, babe, if this is who you really are, then why hide it? Why not embrace it fully? She paused, searching Nat's eyes. Have you ever considered transitioning? The question hung in the air between them, heavy with potential. Nat felt their world tilt on its axis as the suggestion sank in. It was as if Kelly had plucked the desire straight from their heart, a desire they had barely allowed themselves to acknowledge. I, I don't know, Nat stammered, their voice shaking. I mean, I've thought about it, of course, but it's a huge step. Surgery, hormones, it's a lot to consider. They trailed off, their eyes pleading with Kelly to understand the turmoil they felt. It's a lot to consider, Kelly agreed her voice gentle and understanding. But Nat, if this is who you are, who you're meant to be, then I'm here to support you every step of the way. I'll be with you through the highs and lows. You won't be alone. She squeezed Nat's hands tightly. And hey, I think you'd make a pretty amazing woman. Nat felt their breath catch in their throat as they realized the depth of Kelly's love and acceptance. They searched her face, seeking any doubt or hesitation, but found only sincerity and devotion. You'd, you'd really be okay with it, they asked, their voice hoarse with emotion. Kelly's response was firm and immediate. I'd be more than okay with it. I'd be thrilled to see you become the person you truly are, and I'll be here to love you through it all. Nat's heart felt like it might burst with the magnitude of this moment. They looked to Anna, seeking her reaction, and found only encouragement in her eyes. What do you think, Annie? They asked, their voice shaking. Anna's smile was luminous as she stepped forward, enveloping both Nat and Kelly in a warm embrace. I think it's time to set that bird free, little Nat. You know I'll always have your back. 
She pulled back, her eyes glistening with unshed tears. And you two make a gorgeous couple. The weight of Anna's endorsement sent a wave of resolve through Nat. They took a deep breath, their eyes closing as they savored the feeling of finally embracing their true self. Okay, they whispered, the decision solidifying within them. Okay, I'll do it. I'm ready. Kelly's arms wrapped tightly around them, and Nat felt as though they had finally come home. When they pulled away, Kelly's eyes were bright with unshed tears of her own. I'm so proud of you, she whispered, her voice thick with emotion. And I can't wait to see the woman you're destined to be. Betty, who had been quietly observing this heartfelt exchange, gave an audible sniff, wiping at the corner of her eye. Well, I think it's wonderful, she declared, her voice strong and clear. And I can already tell, Natasha dear, that you're going to be a beautiful bride one day. Nat's heart swelled at Betty's unexpected blessing, and they found themselves beaming at the vision she had just painted. A vision that felt suddenly, thrillingly real. Over the following weeks, Nat's world underwent a whirlwind of change. They embraced their new identity as Natasha, and with the unwavering support of Anna and Kelly, began the process of transitioning. Doctor's appointments and hormone treatments became the new norm, and the physical changes that followed only reinforced the sense of finally being true to themselves. As Natasha, Nat embraced a new style, a new wardrobe, and a newfound confidence that turned heads wherever they went. The once shy teenager now exuded a quiet strength and poise that drew people to them, and their beauty, both inside and out, shone brightly for all to see. One sunny afternoon, several months into Natasha's journey, she and Kelly were strolling through the park, hand in hand. Natasha wore a simple sundress, her once short hair now falling in soft waves past her shoulders, and she moved with a grace that belied her former self. You know, Kelly said, her eyes sparkling as she looked at Natasha. I can't believe how much you've blossomed. It's like you were always meant to be this way. Natasha's heart warmed at Kelly's words, and she brought their joined hands to her lips, placing a soft kiss on Kelly's knuckles. You helped me find myself, she said softly. I'll always be grateful to you for that. Kelly blushed, her free hand reaching up to tuck a stray lock of hair behind Natasha's ear. You give me too much credit, she said, her voice catching slightly. You had the courage to take this step, I just want you to know that I'll always be by your side. Natasha's eyes shone with unshed tears as the weight of Kelly's devotion hit her once again. You're stuck with me, she said with a soft laugh, squeezing Kelly's hand tightly. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. As if on cue, a burst of laughter caught their attention, and they turned to see a group of children running through the grass a golden retriever puppy bounding alongside them. The joy on their faces was contagious, and for a moment, Natasha and Kelly simply stood, taking in the scene. Do you ever think about having kids? Kelly asked softly, her eyes following the children as they played. Natasha's heart skipped a beat at the question, one she had been considering herself lately. All the time, she admitted, her voice laced with a mixture of longing and uncertainty. I mean, I know it's not as simple for us, but she trailed off, her eyes searching Kelly's, seeking reassurance. Kelly's expression softened, and she brought their entwined hands to her chest, over her heart. It might not be simple, she said, her voice steady and sure, but it's possible. And if that's something you want, I promise we'll find a way. Together. She paused, her thumb brushing gently across the back of Natasha's hand. I can already picture you as a mom, and it's the most beautiful image. Natasha felt her eyes well up at Kelly's unwavering support and the vision she painted. Thank you, she whispered, her voice thick with emotion. For everything, for loving me for who I am. Kelly stepped closer, her free hand coming up to cup Natasha's cheek. Always, she murmured, her eyes shining with love. And then she leaned in, her lips brushing softly against Natasha's, a kiss that spoke of a future filled with endless possibilities. 
In the months that followed, Natasha's transformation continued, both physically and emotionally. The hormones had softened her features, and her once boyish frame had given way to gentle curves. Her wardrobe had evolved to match her new identity, and she took delight in expressing her sense of style, often with Anna's enthusiastic help. One rainy Sunday afternoon, Anna and Natasha were curled up on the couch, mugs of hot chocolate in hand, flipping through fashion magazines and discussing the latest trends. Natasha's once short-cropped hair was now a shoulder-length bob, and she idly twisted a lock of it around her finger as she studied a particularly stunning gown in the magazine. Oh, Annie, look at this one, she said, holding up the magazine for her sister to see. Isn't it incredible? I love the way the fabric falls. So elegant. Anna leaned in, her eyes widening at the sight of the intricate beaded gown. Wow, she brett a costume, her voice full of enthusiasm. That would look amazing on you, with your new hair and everything. She trailed off, her eyes sparkling with an idea. Say, why don't we have a little fun? Natasha raised an eyebrow, intrigued. Oh, and what did you have in mind? Anna's eyes gleamed with mischief. Well, she began, her voice lowering in conspiracy. I was thinking, why don't we throw a little soiree? A coming out party of sorts to celebrate your fabulous new self. Natasha's heart skipped a beat at the suggestion, her eyes widening in surprise and delight. A party, she repeated, her voice laced with excitement. But Annie, that's, I know, I know. Anna cut in, her enthusiasm bubbling over. It might be a little over the top, but hear me out. You deserve a proper introduction to the world as the fabulous woman you are. And besides, she added with a wicked grin, it's a perfect excuse to get all dressed up and live out our fashion fantasies. Natasha bit her lip, unable to suppress the thrill that ran through her at the thought of a grand celebration centered around her new identity. But what about mom and dad? She asked, her voice laced with a hint of worry. Won't they think it's a bit much? Anna waved away her concern with a dismissive flick of her hand. Leave them to me, she said with a confident smile. I'll make sure they're on board. And besides, they love you, Tash. They'll want to celebrate this journey with you. Natasha's heart swelled at Anna's unwavering support, and she felt a surge of gratitude for her sister's unwavering acceptance. You really think so? She asked, her voice soft with wonder. Anna's eyes softened as she reached out to squeeze Natasha's hand. I know so, she said firmly, and we'll make it a night to remember. With that, the planning commenced, and over the next several weeks, the sisters dove into the details of the soiree with zeal. Anna and Natasha scoured boutiques for the perfect dress, ultimately settling on a stunning sequined gown that accentuated Natasha's newfound curves. They debated hairstyles and makeup looks, settling on an elegant updo and a bold red lip that made Natasha's green eyes sparkle. The night of the soiree, Natasha's heart raced as she stood in front of the full-length mirror in her bedroom, taking in her reflection. The gown hugged her figure flawlessly, and the soft, cascading curls of her hair framed her face perfectly. She felt like a Hollywood starlet. Tivix flies in her stomach only added to the thrill of the night ahead. There was a soft rap on the door, and Anna poked her head in, her eyes widening at the sight before her. Oh, Tash, she breathed, her voice catching slightly. You look absolutely stunning. Dad's going to be speechless. Natasha's heart swelled with emotion at her sister's words. She turned to face Anna fully, her eyes shining with unshed tears. You really think so? She asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Anna crossed the room in a few quick strides, enveloping Natasha in a warm embrace. I know so, she said firmly, pulling back to look her sister in the eye. You're going to take everyone's breath away tonight. A gentle knock on the doorframe interrupted their moment. Kelly stood in the doorway, resplendent in a sleek black dress that hugged her curves. Her eyes widened as she took in the sight of Natasha, her lips parting in awe. Wow, Kelly breathed, her gaze traveling slowly over Natasha's form. You look 
Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Natasha felt a blush creep up her neck at Kelly's appreciative gaze. Thank you, she murmured, suddenly feeling shy under the intensity of her girlfriend's stare. Kelly crossed the room, taking Natasha's hands in her own. Are you ready for this? She asked softly, her thumbs tracing soothing circles on the backs of Natasha's hands. Natasha took a deep breath, steadying herself. As ready as I'll ever be, she replied, squeezing Kelly's hands tightly. Anna clapped her hands together, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Then let's get this show on the road, she exclaimed, ushering the couple towards the door. As they descended the stairs, the low hum of conversation from the gathering guests below grew louder. Natasha's heart pounded in her chest, a mixture of excitement and nerves coursing through her veins. At the bottom of the stairs, her parents stood waiting, their faces a blend of pride and emotion. Her mother stepped forward first, her eyes glistening with unshed tears. Oh, sweetheart, she breathed, reaching out to cup Natasha's face in her hands. You look absolutely beautiful. Natasha leaned into her mother's touch, feeling a wave of relief wash over her at the unconditional love and acceptance she saw in her eyes. Thanks, Mom, she whispered, her voice thick with emotion. Her father cleared his throat, his eyes suspiciously bright as he took in the sight of his daughter. You clean up pretty good, kiddo, he said gruffly, his attempt at humor barely masking the depth of his feelings. Natasha let out a watery laugh, stepping forward to embrace her father tightly. Thanks, Dad, she murmured into his chest, feeling his arms tighten around her in response. As they pulled apart, Anna appeared at Natasha's side, linking their arms together. Ready to make your grand entrance? She asked, her eyes dancing with excitement. Natasha took a deep breath, straightening her shoulders and lifting her chin. Let's do this she said, her voice steady and sure. With Kelly on one side and Anna on the other, Natasha stepped into the living room, which had been transformed into an elegant party space. Soft lighting cast a warm glow over the room, and the gentle strains of classical music filled the air. As they entered, a hush fell over the gathered guests, all eyes turning to take in the vision that was Natasha. For a moment, time seemed to stand still as Natasha looked out over the sea of familiar faces. She saw friends from school, neighbors, and family members, all watching her with varying degrees of surprise and admiration. Then, as if a spell had been broken, the room erupted into applause. Fifi, resplendent in a floral dress, was the first to approach, her eyes wide with wonder. Oh, Natasha, darling, she exclaimed, clasping her hands together. You look absolutely divine, like a vision straight out of a Hollywood movie. Natasha felt her cheeks warm at the effusive praise. Thank you, Fifi, she said, leaning in to accept the older woman's enthusiastic embrace. As Fifi stepped back, Betty appeared at her side, her eyes twinkling with approval. Well, well, she said, her voice warm with affection. Look at you, Natasha. You've blossomed into quite the lovely young woman. Thank you, Betty, Natasha replied, touched by the sincerity in the older woman's voice. That means a lot coming from you. As the initial flurry of greetings subsided, Natasha found herself swept up in a whirlwind of conversations and congratulations. Old friends marveled at her transformation, expressing their support and admiration. Even those who had been skeptical at first couldn't deny the radiance that emanated from Natasha as she moved through the room with newfound grace and confidence. Throughout the evening, Kelly remained a constant presence at Natasha's side, her hand a comforting warmth in the small of her back. As they paused for a moment near the refreshment table, Kelly leaned in close, her lips brushing against Natasha's ear. You're amazing she murmured, her voice low and intimate. Look at how everyone's responding to you. They can all see what I've always known, that you're an incredible, beautiful woman. Natasha turned to face Kelly, her heart swelling with love and gratitude. I couldn't have done any of this without you, she said softly, reaching up to cup Kelly's face in her hand. Your support has meant everything to me. 
Kelly's eyes shone with emotion as she leaned in, pressing a gentle kiss to Natasha's lips. I love you, she whispered as they parted. Every version of you, always. Their moment was interrupted by the tinkling of a glass, and they turned to see Anna standing in the center of the room, calling for everyone's attention. Ladies and gentlemen, Anna began, her voice ringing out clear and strong. I want to thank you all for coming tonight to celebrate my amazing sister, Natasha. She paused, her eyes finding Natasha's in the crowd. Tash, your journey over the past few months has been nothing short of inspiring. You've shown incredible courage and strength in embracing your true self, and I couldn't be prouder to call you my sister. Natasha felt tears prick at the corners of her eyes as Anna continued, her voice thick with emotion. To see you standing here tonight, radiant and confident, is a testament to the power of living authentically. You've taught us all a valuable lesson about the importance of being true to ourselves, no matter what others might think. Anna raised her glass, and the rest of the room followed suit. So let's raise a toast to Natasha, to her bravery, her beauty, and the bright future that lies ahead. To Natasha. The room echoed with the sound of clinking glasses and cheers of to Natasha. Overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and support, Natasha felt a tear slip down her cheek. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Patreon for a lot more content and early access to YouTube videos.